For example number 3 of evaluating an integral involving a rational function using partial fractions, we evaluate the integral of x squared plus x minus 1 over x cubed plus 2x squared plus x dx. Now first thing, we check whether the fraction is proper or improper. So it's a proper fraction. Next thing to do is to factor out the denominator. So we factor the denominator. This is x squared plus x minus 1. We factor out x. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. For the trinomial, that's still factorable. It's x squared plus x minus 1. We factor the trinomial. Take note, it's a perfect square trinomial, and the factors is 1 plus x, x plus 1 quantity squared dx. So we see that there are three factors in the denominator. So we have the linear factor x, 1, 1 factor, linear factor x, and 2x plus 1s. So x plus 1 is repeated twice. So meaning this is a combination of case number 1 and case number 2. Now let's resolve that into partial fractions. x squared plus x minus 1 over x cubed plus 2x squared, or rather let's express that in factored out form, x times x plus 1 squared equals, we have the linear va factor x and the linear factor x plus 1, but it's repeated twice, so we're going to write here x plus 1 squared. So all the factors in the denominator are linear, so all constants, all will be constants in the numerator. Next thing is to get rid of the denominator or the fraction. So what's left on the left side is x squared plus x minus 1. Take note that we're multiplying the entire thing by, the entire equation by, the denominator x times x plus 1 quantity squared. So multiplying a over x to this one, so we cancel out x, so we have x plus 1 squared. For b, we have x, so we just cancel out x plus 1, so we have x left and another x plus 1. And for c, x plus 1 squared is totally cancelled out, so we just have x left. Next is to expand. So we have a, x squared plus 2x, plus 1, plus b, times x squared plus x, plus cx. And take note that's equal to x squared plus x minus 1. And then... We group together all the terms with the same variable, so let's start with x squared. And we have a plus b. So we have a and b. For the variable x, so we start with 2 and a here, so that's 2a. And then we have a b here. And a c. And lastly, we have the constant a. And all that's equal to x squared plus x minus 1. And then we equate the coefficients. So for x squared, the coefficient on the left side is 1, and on the right side, it's a plus b. It's 1 here, and then we have a plus b here. For x, we have 1 on the left side, and we have 2a plus b plus c on the right side. And for the constant, we have negative 1 on the left and we have a on the right. So we are able to get one constant already and that is a. So if a is negative 1, then what would be the value of b? So substituting, we'll get that b is equal to 2. And if we substitute these two values in the second equation if a is negative 1 and b is positive 2 so it will happen c therefore is equal to 
1. So we now have the three values. So with these values, we are going to replace that. We put that in the partial fractions and then eventually evaluate the integral. So this is equal to a over x plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x plus 1 quantity squared dx. So evaluating the integral, that's integral of substituting the values, you have negative 1 over x plus 2 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 squared dx. So this is negative ln of x plus 2 ln of x. This would be minus 1 over x plus 1 plus c. So take note, this is in the form 1 over u squared. That's in the form 1 over u squared, 1 over u squared, or that would be u to the negative 2, and when we integrate that, that's u to the negative 1 over negative 1, or 1 over u. Negative 1 over u. So this is it. Negative 1 over u. And that is... That's our answer.